they show black people being hoes, black people being beat, black people being discriminated against. So what she took, took away from that as a child was, I don't want to be black. A lot of people don't understand that in this industry, you can easily lose yourself. And my dad went that way and my mom went that way and my sister and, I'm, and I was alone because I felt like my nucleus, like my little family bubble was falling apart. So I couldn't just be comfortable, you know? I needed to be someone in case everything fall apart. Um, it was really eye-opening. It was really eye-opening to see you know, just like the underlying layer of how some people are um, viewing other people of color in Asian hate crimes rose to nearly 88%, you know, and that was, you know, and it's predominantly, you know, being, you know, shunned or assaulted or verbally assaulted, you know, there was just like a lot of things happening. It's identity. So I never knew my father at all not until I was 25. And to like make sure I don't step on eggshells, you know, that kind of thing. But at the same time, they're like, well, can you just be yourself? Tornado sense that like, once you feel it start to go down and, and twist, it's like, there's the, the gravity won't let you up. It won't let you out. What's society gonna think? What, it, what are they gonna think of this mask that I'm put on? And, and if I put this on, is that what is now a piece of an identifying piece of me from now on even if I change my mind later.